Westfield Century City, formerly known as a Century Square Shopping Center, is a shopping mall in the Century City, California that opened in 1964. Were you a kid, teenager, adult, parent, or grandparent living in Southern California and would frequent those malls in your area? Were you a mall rat like me where you spent your formative years people watching, socializing, or shopping at those iconic malls? Let's take a stroll down memory lane and relive those moments of yesteryears. So let's take a deep dive into the history of that mall in your neighborhood. Please leave a comment or a memory of this mall and stay tuned until the end. I want to see if you were paying attention to my video. Thanks. The property was once part of the 20th Century Fox Studios. In 1960s, Fox embarked on a production of a motion picture adaptation of the story Cleopatra, Queen of the Nile. The picture began as a modestly budget vehicle, but eventually snowballed into an incredibly elaborate historical epic. The cost overruns and spectacular film sets caused the movie studio to seek additional capital in order to keep the studio in the black. This caused them to sell the 260-acre backlot to Alcoa, the Aluminum Company of America, who purchased the property in 1961. 80 acres were leased back to Fox, with the remaining 180 eventually being developed as, a, as the futuristic Century City. The new shopping center was built on an 18.7 acre site located 13 miles west of the center of Los Angeles. It contained an outdoor movie set such as the old New York Street and the New England Square. The parcel was cleared and developed as an open air shopping mall. The single level cluster type Century Square complex was built on top of a two level subterranean parking garage. Inline stores opened during 1965. These included Silverwood's Men's and Boys Wear, Judy's Ladies Wear, Prudential Savings and Loan, Gallen Camp Shoes, Clifton's Cafeteria, the Century House Restaurant, and a Mayfair Market Grocery. The shopping mall originally comprised of seven retail structures and 56 inline store spaces. The center was anchored by a three-level 220,000 square foot The Broadway, which opened for business on October 10, 1964. Another notable store that opened at this mall was the Joseph Magnin. The original mall had unique shops that no other mall had across America. You may have remembered Heaven, a novelty store, the Bijou, which sold movie paraphernalia, Nickelodeon Records, Tall Toggery Toy Store. There was also a Hallmark store, and there was actually a Clifton's Cafeteria and a Bob's Big Boy in the mall, too, as well as a Mayfair Market. By the early 1970s, the mall in Century City was being promoted as a Century City shopping center, although advertisements for the Century Square were still appearing in the late 1970s. The first expansion of the complex added a three-level 138,000 square foot Bullocks and 25 inline stores. The new Bullocks welcomed its first shoppers on September 9, 1976. In October of 1980, the complex was sold to Avi Lerner and another investment firm during the 1980s, you may have remembered the Jelly Belly Cart or the Singing Flower Man who serenaded shoppers for many years performing songs from his retail flower cart in front of the Joseph Magnin. In 1984, Joseph Magnin closed due to the chain going bankrupt. An $8 million facelift got underway in March of 1985 and was officially dedicated on October 25th. During this project, a vacant Joseph Magnin was carved into 10 inline store spaces. 
A $25 million renovation of the northwest corner of the mall was done during 1987. The American Multi Cinema Century 14 Multiplex was installed on a new upper level. It opened for business on October 9, 1987. New mall stores included Ghost Sport, Brentano's Books, Nickelodeon Video and Music, The Gap, Clothesline, and Arva Jewelers. Moreover, the Century City Marketplace, an indoor-outdoor food cart, housed 26 fast food eateries and five sit-down restaurants. The Culinary Complex, built on the site of the old Century House restaurant, opened on November 19, 1987. To reflect this addition, the official name of the mall was changed to the Century City Shopping Center and Marketplace. On April 29, 1996, Bullocks closed. On May 1, 1996, it would reopen as Macy's. On November 8, 1996, the Broadway at Century City closed. It would reopen as Bloomingdale's. Australia-based Westfield purchased the mall in two increments between January and May of 2002. They renamed it the Westfield Shopping Town Century City, shortening this to simply Westfield Century City in June of 2005. A $160 million upgrade, dubbed the Makeover of the Century, got underway in August of 2003. The project was completed in two stages. The first consisted of two southwest corner additions and an upper level dining terrace housing 17 restaurants was completed in 2005. The state of the art AMC Century City 15 multiplex showed its first features on December 12th of that same year. Stage 2 included repurposing the 1980s vintage multiplex and food court, which were rebuilt into new retail spaces. The remodeling wrapped up in late 2006. Westfield Century City now encompassed 810,000 leasable square feet and contained 205 stores and services. By the 2010s, Westfield was planning another expansion of their Century City Plaza. This was a great deal of community opposition, but the expansion plans were eventually approved by the City of Los Angeles. The $1 billion retrofit would add over 400,000 square feet of new retail and increase the center's car parking capacity to 4,700 cars. In 2011, Borders went out of business. The circa 1963 Gateway West at 1801 Avenue of the Stars Tower, which had been deemed a potential historic resource by the city government, was not considered historic enough for preservation. It and the circa 1966 Century Park West structure were knocked down. Macy's closed in January of 2016, but it was replaced by a newly built store. Much of the original mall was demolished, leaving the far western section, Bloomingdale's and the subterranean parking garage intact. The shopping facility was rebuilt with three levels of retail stores, topped up by a two-level rooftop parking deck on the far east end of the complex. A new multi-level garage also replaced the Century Park West Tower in the southwest corner. The revitalized Westfield Century City was officially dedicated in three stages. 25 stores, including a two-level 155,000 square foot Macy's, opened on April 8, 2017. A three-level 149,000 square foot Nordstrom's and a Additional inline stores and restaurants debuted on October 3rd, 2017. The final stage, comprised of Italy, an Italian marketplace, restaurant, and cooking school, which was dedicated on November 3rd, 2017. 
New to the mall were stores such as Aritzia, Katamini, Cotton On, Mac Cosmetics, Sawarski, Travis Matthew, and Zara. Level 3 included the exclusive Equinox Health Club and a spa in the Italy facility. Westfield Century City now encompassed 1.3 million square feet and housed 260 stores and services. Westfield's American and European property portfolio was merged into the holdings of Paris-based Unibail Rodamco in June of 2018. A new company known as Unibail Rodamco Westfield was created. Westfield shopping centers in Australia and New Zealand were not included in the merger. On the horizon is a connection between the Century City Mall and Los Angeles Metro subway system. In 2019, construction commenced on the Purple D-Line extension to West Los Angeles. The initial 3.9 route mile subway line will include three stations and extend between the existing Wilshire Western Stop and one at the Wilshire La Cienega. Revenue service on this Section 1 segment is scheduled to begin in 2024. 2.6 mile Section 2 segment will include two stations and connect future Wilshire La Cienega and Century City Constellation train stations. Revenue ser the $800 million redevelopment project helped to create over 230 shops featuring 55 restaurants and cafes with fresh local and seasonal dining choices. During the construction, some of the stores had to relocate from their original Locations, including Rolex, Tesla, and Regionals, are now in the Kids Wing near Zara, and Coffee Bean and Tea Leaf is near Yogurt Land and Bread Bar. Smash and grab robberies have occurred at this mall on numerous occasions in 2022 and 2023. In each incident, over a dozen suspects smash glass cases and rob stores such as Macy's and Gucci. Today, the Westfield Century City is a two-level, 1.3 million square foot outdoor shopping mall and features Nordstrom, Macy's, Bloomingdale's, in addition to a Gelson supermarket and a 15-screen AMC multiplex. Congratulations, you made it this far into the video. When I find you, pop quiz, hot shot, shot. So let's see how close you were paying attention to my video. So how many anchor stores closed in this mall? So if your answer is three, give yourself a hand. You were paying attention. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you like this content, and if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Thanks.